Speculative theories about Stonehenge abound, offering intriguing possibilities for exploration. In this video, we will discuss some of these alternative theories with the appropriate expert guests. Hope you enjoy the experience. Let's go. What makes you think that Stonehenge was built with the assistance of aliens? Well, if you consider the sheer scale and precision of Stonehenge's construction, it's hard to imagine how ancient humans could have achieved such feats without some form of advanced assistance. The massive stones, some weighing over 25 tons, were transported from quarries miles away and precisely arranged in alignment with celestial bodies with incredible accuracy. This level of precision engineering suggests a level of sophistication that seems beyond the capabilities of ancient societies, especially considering the tools and technology available to them at the time. Furthermore, there are numerous ancient myths and legends from cultures around the world that speak of gods or beings descending from the heavens and imparting knowledge to humanity. These stories often describe advanced technologies and celestial knowledge that could easily be interpreted as extraterrestrial intervention. When you consider these myths alongside the mysterious and enigmatic nature of Stonehenge, it's not difficult to entertain the possibility that it may have been built with the guidance or assistance of beings from beyond our world. Additionally, there have been reports of UFO sightings and unexplained phenomena in the vicinity of Stonehenge throughout history further fueling speculation about extraterrestrial involvement. While concrete evidence may be lacking, the idea that Stonehenge was built with the assistance of aliens offers a compelling explanation for the mysteries surrounding its construction and purpose. It challenges us to reconsider our understanding of ancient history and the potential influence of beings from beyond our planet on the course of human civilization. What makes you think that Stonehenge was constructed as part of a time travel experiment by an ancient society? Ah, uh, the notion that Stonehenge was constructed as part of a time travel experiment by an ancient society is truly a fascinating concept to entertain. Consider this, the arrangement of the stones at Stonehenge exhibits a remarkable level of geometric precision and alignment with astronomical phenomena such as solstices and equinoxes. These alignments could have been intentionally designed to serve as temporal markers or calibration points for the manipulation of time. Furthermore, ancient texts and myths from various cultures often contain references to time travel or journeys to other realms, suggesting that our ancestors may have possessed a deeper understanding of the nature of time and space than we give them credit for. It's possible that they develop technologies or rituals that enable them to transcend the constraints of linear time and explore alternative timelines or dimensions. When we consider the enigmatic nature of Stonehenge alongside these ancient myths and legends, it's not difficult to imagine that it may have served as a focal point for temporal experimentation or manipulation. Perhaps the stones were arranged in such a way as to create a resonance chamber or energy field capable of bending the fabric of time itself, allowing for travel to different points in history or even glimpses of the future. While the idea of time travel may seem far-fetched to some, it offers a thought-provoking explanation for the mystery surrounding Stonehenge's construction and purpose. It challenges us to expand our understanding of ancient civilizations and the possibilities of human ingenuity beyond the confines of conventional history. Who knows what secrets may lie hidden within the ancient stones of Stonehenge, waiting to be unlocked by those brave enough to explore the mysteries of time. What makes you think that Stonehenge was built by a lost or undiscovered civilization that existed long before recorded history? The idea that Stonehenge was built by a lost or undiscovered civilization that existed long before recorded history is a compelling theory that raises intriguing questions about the origins of human civilization. When we consider the sophistication and precision of Stonehenge's construction, it's clear that the builders possessed advanced knowledge and technology far beyond what we typically associate with ancient societies. 
One of the most compelling pieces of evidence for this theory is the sheer scale of Stonehenge's construction. The massive stones, some weighing upwards of 25 tons, were transported from quarries located miles away and precisely arranged in alignment with celestial phenomena. The logistical challenges involved in such an undertaking are staggering, suggesting that the builders possessed a level of organization and engineering expertise that is difficult to reconcile with the hunter-gatherer societies traditionally believed to have inhabited the area. Furthermore, there are tantalizing hints scattered throughout the archaeological record that suggest the presence of advanced civilizations in prehistoric times. From ancient megalithic structures found around the world to enigmatic artifacts and symbols that defy conventional explanation, there is mounting evidence to suggest that our understanding of human history may be incomplete. Perhaps most intriguingly, there are numerous myths, legends, and oral traditions from cultures around the world that speak of lost civilizations or ancient ancestors who possessed advanced knowledge and technology. These stories often describe a time when humanity lived in harmony with the natural world and possessed a deep understanding of the cosmos. When we consider all of these factors together, it becomes increasingly plausible to entertain the idea that Stonehenge was built by a civilization that existed long before recorded history. While concrete evidence may be lacking, the theory challenges us to reconsider our assumptions about the origins of human civilization and the potential for lost knowledge to shed new light on our understanding of the past. What makes you think that Stonehenge was built as a site for conducting cosmic alignment rituals or ceremonies? The notion that Stonehenge was built as a site for conducting cosmic alignment rituals or ceremonies is deeply rooted in the astronomical alignments and geometric precision of the monument. The arrangement of the stones at Stonehenge exhibits a remarkable alignment with celestial bodies such as the sun, moon, and stars, particularly during key astronomical events such as solstices and equinoxes. These alignments suggest that Stonehenge may have been designed as a sacred space for observing and honoring the movements of the heavens. Ancient cultures around the world often place great significance on celestial events, viewing them as manifestations of divine forces or cosmic energies. Stonehenge's alignment with celestial phenomena may have been intended to facilitate rituals or ceremonies aimed at harnessing these energies or communing with the celestial realm. Furthermore, there are numerous myths, legends, and oral traditions from ancient cultures that speak of sacred sites where cosmic alignment rituals were conducted. These stories often describe ceremonies aimed at invoking blessings, fertility, or protection by aligning with the rhythms of the cosmos. When we consider the archaeological evidence alongside these cultural traditions, it becomes clear that Stonehenge may have served a spiritual or ceremonial purpose beyond mere practical or utilitarian functions. The monument's alignment with celestial phenomena invites us to contemplate humanity's connection to the cosmos and the role of ritual and ceremony in our quest for meaning and transcendence. While the exact nature of the rituals conducted at Stonehenge may remain shrouded in mystery, the monument's astronomical alignments offer tantalizing clues about its spiritual significance to the ancient peoples who built it. By exploring these alignments and their potential implications, we can gain a deeper appreciation for the profound ways in which ancient cultures sought to connect with the cosmic forces that shape our world. What makes you think that Stonehenge may have been designed to facilitate transcendent experiences or access hidden dimensions beyond our ordinary perception? The idea that Stonehenge served as a multidimensional portal or gateway to other realms or dimensions is a fascinating concept that invites us to explore the mysteries of consciousness and the nature of reality itself. When we consider the enigmatic nature of Stonehenge alongside the profound spiritual beliefs of ancient cultures, it's not difficult to entertain the possibility that it may have been designed to facilitate transcendent experiences or access hidden dimensions beyond our ordinary perception. One of the most compelling pieces of evidence for this theory is the arrangement of the stones at Stonehenge, 
which exhibits a remarkable precision and alignment with celestial phenomena. This suggests that the monument may have been intentionally designed to resonate with cosmic energies or serve as a focal point for spiritual exploration and transformation. Furthermore, there are numerous myths, legends, and oral traditions from cultures around the world that speak of sacred sites where the veil between worlds is thin and access to other realms is possible. These stories often describe rituals or ceremonies aimed at traversing the boundaries of ordinary reality and communing with beings from other dimensions. When we consider the archaeological evidence alongside these cultural traditions, it becomes clear that Stonehenge may have served as a gateway to realms beyond our ordinary perception. The monument's alignment with celestial phenomena and its enigmatic symbolism invite us to contemplate the possibility of hidden dimensions and alternate realities that lie just beyond the limits of our understanding. While the idea of Stonehenge as a multidimensional portal may stretch the boundaries of conventional science and history, it offers a profound perspective on the spiritual aspirations of ancient cultures and the limitless potential of human consciousness. By exploring these possibilities with an open mind, we can gain new insights into the mysteries of existence and our place within the vast tapestry of the cosmos. Great, so cool. What do you people think about the roots and history of Stonehenge? Let me know in the comments section. Okay, so that was all. This is Lazeros from Breeze. Hope you liked this video. If so, please like and share, and I'll see you in the next video. Stay safe!